Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to calculate 90%, 95%, and 99% confidence intervals in Microsoft Excel. So for this example, let's say these numbers right here are my sample. And these are the different test scores that students scored on a certain test. So for the first example here, I want to find the 90% confidence interval. The first thing I need to find is the sample mean. So what I'm going to do is type the equal sign and type in the Excel fun function average which is also mean. Once I hit the tab key you'll notice the average function pop up on the screen here. I can go ahead and highlight my sample, close the parenthesis, and hit enter. Now I need to find the standard deviation of the sample. So I'm going to hit the equal sign, type in ST, and you'll see standard deviation sample is this one right here, standard deviation dot S. I'm going to click on it and hit the tab key, and that will put me into the function. Highlight the sample data, close your parentheses, and hit enter. Now the sample size we know is 10. So we type in 10 here. Now we need to calculate the margin of error. So we're going to hit the equal sign and start typing in the word confidence. Now I want to point out something. We're finding the uh, normal distribution confidence level. But if you're doing the T distribution, you would hit uh, confidence T but we're going to do normal distribution for this example. So I've got confidence norm highlighted in blue. I'm going to hit tab. Then I'm going to type in one, the number one, minus confidence level. Then I'm going to hit the comma. Now they want the standard deviation, which is right here. Click on that. Hit the comma once again. And now they want the sample size. Close your parenthesis and hit enter. Now to find our lower point estimate and upper point estimate, we'll start with the lower. We're going to hit the equal sign. We take the sample mean minus the margin of error. That gives us our lower point estimate. Then we're going to take for the upper, hit equals, sample mean plus margin of error. Okay, simple enough, and there's your answer. You might see this answer written out in parentheses with the 73 first and the 86 second. So that's how you do that. Let's do an example for 95 as well. Now I wanna show you something here. We already know the sample mean is 80.2, so I just wanna copy and paste. But you wanna do that correctly, so when you hit copy, you're going to hit the paste option with the one, two, three, value. That way the answer doesn't change at all. Same with standard deviation here. We already know what that is. Copy and paste with the 1, 2, 3. See if I do this other option it gives me a different answer. So make sure you use the 1, 2, 3. Sample size we know is 10. So we're going to do our command again which is confidence norm. Hit the tab key. 1 minus confidence level comma, standard deviation, comma, sample size. Close your parenthesis, hit enter. For the lower, we take the sample mean minus the margin of error. For the upper, we hit equals, sample mean plus margin of error. And that gives you your answer right there, 72 and 87. All right, now let's do one more example for the 99% confidence interval. So we know sample mean is 80.2, copy and paste that, use the 1, 2, 3 function. Standard deviation, 12.5, 1, 2, 3, paste. Sample size is 10. Margin of error is equal to confidence norm. Hit the tab key once that is highlighted in blue. One minus confidence level, comma, 
standard deviation, comma, sample size. Close your parentheses, hit enter. Then we are going to hit the equal sign for the lower amount. Sample mean minus margin of error equals, or enter. Then we'll hit equals sample mean plus margin of error. And there you go. That is how you calculate 90%, 95%, 99% confidence intervals in Microsoft Excel.